local woman is part of a larger group, all of the moms of children with cancer, who are banding together and going a cut above, quite literally, to raise awareness. Here's Barbara Moore Silva now with Health Check. just bottle up the energy of Grace Carey, you wouldn't need caffeine. She's an on-the-go eight-year-old, a far cry from where she was nearly three years ago. Grace was diagnosed with a brain tumor in September of 2007. Five days after that diagnosis, brain surgery, then chemotherapy. She finished the inpatient chemo in June of 2008, so it was pretty much her entire kindergarten year. Grace said during her treatment, that cancer is is really lonely it's lonely having cancer that stuck with becca the loneliness so when she heard about a group of moms of children with cancer banding together she jumped on board there's a huge need for advocacy in the world of childhood cancer this group calls itself 46 mamas they hail from all over the country coming together via the internet each of the moms that's involved has their own story about their own child and there's a reason why they call themselves 46 Mamas. Every day, 46 children are diagnosed with cancer. And as a group, they plan on doing something rather bold, shave their heads. We're attempting to raise awareness. That's our primary goal. And they hope to raise a million dollars for research. They want a cure. What do you think about mom shaving? Good. Well, I like the raising money part. Now, as a woman, our hair is our crowning glory. This is a pretty big step. It is, but you know what? Hair grows back. We are simultaneously saying hair is important because, you know, here we are making the stand to shave it off, but we're also saying it's really not that important. Okay, she's having so much fun with that dog. More important things like the health of our children, that's what Barbara says. Moms plan on meeting most of them for the first time in September. That's Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. And they're hoping to shave their heads as a group on national TV, the organization they're working with, St. Baldrick's, is hoping to get either Ellen or Oprah to broadcast it live. We'll keep you posted. If you're interested in learning more, helping out, log on to turn to 10.com, keyword health. Well,